We are back for more physics. So, the last uh, video I introduced to you, there are two types of physical quantities. You have the vector quantity, and the other one is the scalar quantity. All right? And I shared with you that both quantities have magnitude and units, but the vector quantity has the additional dimension of direction. Okay, All right. So today we're going to cover two more, uh, one more vector quantity and one more scalar quantity that is like kind of related to each other. First, over here is velocity, and over at the other side we have our friend Mr. Speed. Okay, all right. Let's go through a little bit of definitions first. So velocity is rate of change, change I use triangle, of displacement. You still remember displacement? We just covered this term in the previous video. Displacement is simply distance in a specific direction. Okay, right. And speed is rate of change of let me use a different color distance okay all right and because displacement has the notion or or have a factor of direction velocity then is a factor quantity let's understand this a little bit more through an illustration so we have our cute little car flagpole and house again let's say they are spaced apart by 200 meters and it takes the car 20 seconds to reach there 20 seconds to reach there if we were to calculate if we were to calculate the speed v is equals to rate of change of distance so the change of distance going over is 200 meters okay and the time taken for that change is 20 seconds so your speed is equals to 10 meters per second, all right? So that is your speed, okay? How about velocity? So velocity rate of change of displacement. V is equals to this way. One way displacement is 200 as well. Time taken is 20, and then you will also get 10 meters per second. So in this scenario, both speed and velocity will give you the same value. But what if the car come backwards to this point, all right, after you reach the house? And maybe the car take now uh, 40 seconds to reach from the house back to home, okay? So the speed over here again, okay? So the change of distance is 200. Time taken right now is 40. So you will get 200 over 40. You get 5 meter per second. That's your speed. But for velocity, in this case now displacement, okay, is it going to be plus 200 or minus 200? Because right now it is going in an opposite direction. So you get minus 200 over the time taken of 40. So you will get minus 5 meter per second okay it doesn't mean that it's slowing down it just means it just means that it is moving in the opposite direction so that is your vector quantity of the day velocity versus speed which is a scalar quantity see you in the next video